It's one of the most popular weather lore out there and among the most frequently asked weather questions that viewer have said, hey, can you please answer this? Is heat lightning really a thing? All new this morning, meteorologist Corrales Ortiz tells us what the science says. According to weather lore, people believe that hot and humid summer nights can generate lightning without a thunderstorm. When it comes to the term heat lightning, what you really are just seeing is regular lightning. It's lightning so far in the distance that you can't even hear the thunder. It's much more common in summer, mainly because we see thunderstorms more often during that time of year. A thunderstorm cloud on average can tower around 30 to 40,000 feet. And if the cloud is tall enough, it's possible to see the lightning even when it's 100 miles away. In order to hear the thunder though, you have to be about 10 to 15 miles from the storm. To put it in more scientific terms, sound travels much slower than light. Sound vibrations need a way to get around. The atoms within a column of air, which is low density, can help carry these sound waves. It does eventually slow down, and by the time the waves reach you, you might not be able to hear them. Light, on the other hand, is electromagnetic, and it doesn't need help from a source to move itself around, which is why it can travel faster. This explains why we see lightning first before we hear the thunder rumble. Science says that the popular old wives tale term of heat lightning is just a myth. With THV11, I'm Corrales Ortiz. Well, do you have a weather question and you want to know what the science says? Send Corrales a message on social media or send her an email at crts at thv11.com. We'll answer another weather question next Tuesday morning right here on Wake Up Central.